What's up guys? Iceman here. So I was browsing around on the internet and this story came up about a young boy who was mauled by a freaking cougar and this happened about a year back. There are actually some cougars in the area in which I live and I'm quite sure I saw one back when I was like 14 years old or something. I saw it lurking in the woods while I was in a jeep two tracking down some old two track road and it really looked like a dangerous creature potentially and then when I was about 20 years old I was out in the woods in Southern California with a human female and it was getting late it was quite dark and it was just her and I out in this woods and it started to cross my mind how it was known that there were cougar attacks in that area in the past anyway and I know that those damn things go for your neck so at the time what I did is I took my hoodie shirt and I wrapped it around my neck because I figured if a cougar comes and attacks me from the back it's probably going to go for my neck and I'm a pretty tough guy man I'm like 6'4", 240 pounds, can bench press a lot of weight so I figured if a cougar wants to come at my neck I could probably wrestle the damn thing and at least have a chance against it you know what I'm saying? but fortunately nothing happened but it's weird because on our way out I looked back and on the horizon I could see several what I think were coyotes stalking us. But of course, coyotes, I don't feel, possess much of a danger to someone like myself. But nonetheless, it was somewhat of a thrill. But you really can't underestimate these damn cougars. But anyway, let's check out this article. Boy, eight, somehow survives being savaged by a cougar, which clamped its jaws around his head before friends hit the beast with a rock near Canadian River. The child needed 200 staples in his scalp and neck. Oh my god, what a hideous title. Yeah, I feel like you'd really have to bash the damn thing hard with a rock to get it to run away. I believe that these predators in general, they don't really want to get hurt too bad in a scuffle, which is why they prefer going after prey animals. But sometimes in desperate situations, I think they're willing to risk a little bit more. So yeah, I always felt like it'd be important to grab a stick or grab a rock or just anything to defend yourself with. Another time, this was about 10 years ago, I went to some nature reserve in Tennessee and I saw some bear tracks with the group that I was with. So what I did is I picked up a big long stick because at the time I wasn't smart enough to go places prepared for such occasions. I didn't have a pocket cannon on me. I don't think I even had a blade on me. So I picked up a big ass stick and I just thought it'd be better than nothing. So yeah, if I were in cougar territory, definitely a stick or a rock would be something I'd probably try to have near me. But anyway, let's check out this story. Cassin Fuser was playing by the Bishop River near Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, Canada, when the giant cat attacked him from behind, with surgeons saying the animal's bite missed his major artery by millimeters. The eight-year-old was one of six children under the supervision of a close family friend who had taken him, his two sisters, her own son, and two nieces camping for the long weekend. The vicious animal was so large compared to the boy that when it bit down on his skull, his whole head was almost in the beast's mouth, who then shook him in an attempt to break his neck. It is believed Kaysen had only survived because the family's quick thinking friend, Alicia Morrison, 40, grabbed a large rock and dropped it on the cougar's head, scaring it enough to let go of the boy and flee. Yeah, I wonder if she really just dropped the rock on the animal's head or did she hit the damn thing as hard as she possibly could with it. It's just a weird way of wording things and I feel like you get this a lot in media. But anyway, here continues the article. Casson's parents were an eight hour drive away in Dawson Creek where his father was working when they got the heart stopping call that he had been attacked by the big cat on July 31. Parents Che and Corey Fuser, both 37, jumped on a plane to get to their son who was airlifted to a hospital for emergency life-saving surgery. And right now, I'm looking at the photos of the kid I don't want to show them on this channel, but he's all bandaged up and he has these cuts and scabs all over his face, all sorts of stitches. Uh, it looks like he's actually in one photo attempting to smile next to his mother, I presume. And fortunately, both of his eyes are open looking at the camera. So it looks like the kid can still see and 
might uh, have a full recovery. But here continues the story. Despite suffering a broken jaw and severe puncture wounds on his head, face, and neck, Shay says Kaysen made a miraculous full recovery. The mum of three has now shared horrifying photos of her son's injuries to warn other campers to be wary and alert of large animals. Alicia, who was a nurse, said, I was sitting around in the morning watching the kids playing at the river trying to collect frogs when my son, Morgan, a friend of Kaysen, turned around to ask Kaysen how he was doing and started to scream. Then Kaysen's sister, Addison, looked back and screamed, Cougar! And that's when I jumped up and came around behind Kaysen and the Cougar. And I saw Kaysen within the Cougar's jaws. The Cougar tried to pull him up towards the campsite as all the kids were running towards the trailer. I looked at the Cougar and reacted how any mum would. And I grabbed a rock and hit the Cougar in the head. It took off towards the camper and then my dog Jersey chased it away from the kids. I picked Kaysen up and ran with him into the trailer, wrapped his head and neck with a towel and had to have my niece help hold pressure for a couple of seconds while I was trying to get my cell phone out where I could get service. The ambulance came 26 minutes after I called 911, and the whole time I was very fearful that Kaysen was going to die from his injuries, as they were quite significant. Alicia had taken a photo of her coffee and the idyllic riverside scene where the children were playing just minutes before the cougar attacked Kaysen, and she jumped into action to save him. Shay, from Alberta, Canada, said, I think at that moment, if she didn't have the dogs with her, the cougar would have attacked her. But the dogs realized what was going on, and they shot out after it and chased it off into the woods. She saw the cougar jolt Kaysen to try and break his neck, so she was sure if she had a second longer, the cougar would have been on its way into the woods with him. Then, she scooped Kaysen up and started running back to the trailer. She said there was a moment where she thought he was going to die in her arms because there was so much blood loss. His mother, Shay, said, Kaysen is wonderful. He's healing fine and he's mentally fine. Everything is such a miracle with him. Everyone's aware of cougars, but in busy areas like that, where there's not a lot of big trees, Alicia thought she was safe. If she would have been any further away, it would have been a different story. She had a gun in the trailer, but there was no time. Anyone camping in the wild needs to be ultra aware and stay close to those kiddos. It is believed that the cougar was subsequently tracked down and euthanized. Jeez, what do you guys think about that story? Thank the creator that that boy had a full recovery, apparently. Yeah, but cougars are something that should not be underestimated. It's interesting how apparently she did have a boomstick around, but she just didn't have it on her at the time. In my opinion, I'm kind of just making a mental note to always have something to protect myself with while out in the wild on my person at all times, be it pepper spray, a blade, or preferably a hand cannon. But yeah, I'm curious what you guys have to say about this story and what are your thoughts on it? And do you ever have concerns about cougars where you live? Let me know in the comments below and like this video for more haunting tales from the Iceman.